I met Jack when I was 11. He was two years older than me. He was very arrogant and the jokes he told were ridiculous. For some reason, I talked to him anyway. I found solace in the fact that he had a weird little home life as well. We met up a few times, obviously behind my parents' backs, and we ended up together when I was 12. We both came from such explosive backgrounds and we were both quite angry all the time, so we'd end up taking it out on each other. We were on and off together for about four years. When he was about 15, he became quite involved in drugs, cocaine, sometimes heroin, and it changed his personality in a way that made him a little bit more sinister. We split up for maybe the 20th time. I tried to keep in contact with him but he didn't really want to talk to me and he never really told me why. Until his brother told me that he'd actually got liver cancer and it was too far along to do anything about it and he kind of didn't want to anyway. Jack eventually passed away and I didn't find out for a long time. I was 16 or 17. It felt like the floor had been taken out from beneath me. The thing about Jack was that he was my escape from my reality. The fact that he didn't exist anymore left me on a lonely little trip back to the real world. I cried for months. I cried in front of my mother and she didn't notice. I remember my dad shouting in my face saying, you've got no reason to be upset. Is this because of your friend that's passed away? Friend. He emphasised that. I found out after Jack passed away that he'd actually cheated on me. How do you go from mourning somebody to trying to come to terms with the fact that they weren't the person you thought they were? There is a part of me that misses him. The way that you miss people who you were once close to. I learnt that I had to be happy with myself before I could be happy with anyone else. If I could see him again, I reckon it'd be a bit like passing someone you used to talk to. But then realise that things move on and there's nothing you can really do to change that. <laughs>